We are talking about the movie Crossbreed, and this is directed and co-written by uh, Biray Dalkiran, I believe his name is. And uh, the story here focuses mainly on this on this woman who just finds out she is uh, pregnant with twins. Uh, she just doesn't really want to tell her boyfriend just yet, and um, she's having kind of like lots of kind of weird, lots of nightmares and stuff like that, and. Uh, she works as a journalist with her partner and she's sent to cover this, um, this particular town which was, uh, rumour has it, was uh, uh, the, the, kind of the, the home of the crossbreeds. And the crossbreeds basically are the kind of the offspring of Lilith who was um, Adam's first wife from Ad like, you know, the Garden of Eden and all that. And uh, basically the kind of like the children of Adam and Eve. So they're kind of, you know, a crossbreed basically. They tend to be of twins. So, now she is pregnant with twins. Coincidence? So obviously there's kind of lots of spooky shenanigans going on. Is there some type of kind of like weird uh, kind of demonic conspiracy? You have to watch the movie to find out. So let's talk crossbreed. The th I think the thing that will strike you the, f the most about this movie and the first thing is its weird editing choices and the kind of the transitions between scenes. And it kind of feels like it, you're watching a TV show. It's the kind of thing you, you'd see in a TV show. Uh, even the credits are. It looks like it's, it's from like a TV show. You have these kind of weird like video effect kind of transitions that go from kind of one scene to another. And they, they, they take so long. It's just a lot longer than you would normally see in a kind of a movie. And that's kind of obviously an artistic choice uh, by the director and editor here. But... Uh, it's kind of a little bit frustrating because I feel like it's a little bit overpowering, first of all. And that's the kind of the most unique thing about this film, I would say. Um, I, I would say, on, on a positive side, I think the, the, the premise of this movie is quite interesting. Because it does have a kind of, uh, a very kind of, like, rich mythology. And kind of, it sounds like it's going to be, you know, a pretty interesting premise. With, um, obviously, kind of religious kind of overtones and stuff like that. And I also like the fact that the, um... The boyfriend in this is like a, a massive atheist and he is absolutely kind of like, no, that's a lot of BS because of this reason, because of that reason. So we get lots of kind of different kind of points of views. It's not trying to kind of like hit you over the head with maybe one singular message. So I did like the fact that obviously uh, we do get um, you know, different types of opinions in the film. But unfortunately the, the movie here is um, a very kind of ham-fisted. I feel the acting, for the most part, is, is on the weaker side, unfortunately. It really doesn't come across as the actors here seem very confident in their roles, and they seem like they maybe haven't had a lot of takes, and uh, just kind of, their line delivery is very kind of uh, unconfident, and, and ultimately quite poor, unfortunately. So that's, that's going to be the first thing, and it's a little slow, and you never really kind of feel like you're kind of going anywhere. Um, and the, the movie, uh, obviously, we've got a few kind of twists and turns. They kind of make it so obvious that, that we have a, a character that, a kind of character reveal, and it's like, hmm, because this this character wasn't acting shady beforehand, wasn't it? And kind of making it really obvious with the kind of like the weird uh, facial movements and stuff like that. It's like, come on, is that meant to be a is that meant to be a surprise? Um, but ultimately, this film is quite kind of light on sort of special effects and stuff like that, and. It kind of does maybe go maybe a little bit too slow for its uh, for its own good. And there, although there are some scenes where you're a little uncomfortable, there's um, there's a, a, a scene maybe sort of towards the beginning uh, with a veterinarian. That's all I'll kind of say. That's kind of maybe a little, you know maybe a little bit uncomfortable if you're of a certain disposition, um, you know. But uh, other than that, there's not a lot to this film ultimately. And you you couple the fact with the acting isn't particularly good. I feel the director is trying to be maybe a little bit too arty in terms of trying try to get these visual effects and, well, the video effects and the kind of the, uh, the transition and stuff like that. Just a little bit ADHD in a, in a little bit of a way with its kind of, um, some of its kind of uh, video effects there. It becomes a little bit unfulfilling and I feel the promise of a, a potentially good story is uh, somewhat squandered in the kind of the execution. So whilst I feel this film does have some interesting facets to it and has a germ of a, of a good idea in regards to some of the story and the execution, unfortunately, is on the poorer side and it ultimately becomes a little dull to watch. So 
I'll have to give this one a 4 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.